All right guys, I'm pretty excited because we're starting a new project in the barn and that is lighting. We definitely need lights in here so we can work in the evening, especially as we're going into fall. The days are getting shorter, it's getting darker so much earlier. We need to get light in here. You can see the previous owners had some pretty scary wiring in here. This is literally how it was done. Just kind of thrown up there. That's my new wiring, but this is the old wiring. No junction boxes. The wires just kind of sprawl. And we definitely had to redo it. You can see the light switches behind the door here. The wires just kind of snake up and all over the place. I can't even begin to explain just how clean it makes everything look. Just having all the wires and old lights off the ceiling. So these are the five old ceiling lights that we just pulled down. They're in rough shape, but there's no point in wasting them. We don't need to throw these away. We can actually save them, restore them, and put them back up. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do that. There's also another one of these in that room back here, little room. Um, I might pull that one down too, and we'll just do them all at the same time. Okay guys, we got the lights opened up and check this out. One, two, three, four, five of them had mice living in the light fixture. Full of feces, insulation, bedding. This one actually has pieces of mouse poison in it, those green chunks. Some nuts. The same, the same. Look at the damage they do. It's so disgusting how they love to ruin everything with their urine. But we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna save them. Right, Ash? Yeah.
not good enough. No. So right now Ashley's doing some prep work. Just taping up all the contacts where the bulbs plug in so that we can spray paint them. We're gonna make them nice and white inside. Clean up all that rust with some Rust-Oleum spray paint. This one isn't too bad, but I'm just gonna touch it up. So the white paint dried, we flipped them over and I painted the backs black because I just thought that black would look cool and maybe hide some dirt, you know, when they're hanging up on the ceiling. So um, yeah, the black paint is dry. I'm ready to start installing these. It's getting late in the day. Hopefully we can get them installed just in time for dark and we can see how they look. So I went ahead and took out the old wire clips. I'm gonna be using these plastic ones because they're just easier, low profile. My idea is to screw this light fixture straight up to the ceiling truss, the uh, roof truss right there. So we decide where I want it here. So you can see by centering it on the wood and putting it flush instead of hanging by wires like they had it, it's going to seal up all these holes. And that means the mice cannot get in there anymore. That's going to be awesome. This hole is offset. I can still get my wire in there. I think I'm pretty happy with the placement. Not to be picky, but maybe I'm going to move it. I'm going to move it over an inch. Okay, okay. Okay, the last thing I gotta do is disconnect the, the ballast from the wiring. We're not gonna be using that. We're converting this into an LED fixture, so this is all unnecessary. We can leave it in here, but we're gonna disconnect it. So this is gonna vary depending on what type of LED bulbs you get, but on mine, all I have to do is connect one wire to this end, you see I just joined all of it together. So this end's gonna be hot. And this end, I just connected to a white wire. This is gonna be neutral. And let's get the power hooked up. Let me put these together. You wanna give me that uh, white cover? For this, for this run. In the box. 
So I'll show you what I did. I wired it through a cover on the box. That way if I ever want to swap out this light, I'll put, get a plug-in light and I'll just put an outlet there. But the wire comes down, comes around into the light fixture and it was wired up under the cover and that's it, it's all done. Let me test it out. Okay, this is getting really cool. Look at that. The light works perfect, looks brand new, and we have light in here just in time. And that's gonna help us get the other lights installed. So we're gonna keep working. Doesn't that look cool, all painted up and fresh? Mm -hmm. We got five lights up and it's looking so bright in here. Look at this space. Now that used up five of the lights that we painted and they look fantastic, work fantastic, and that saved us money. Uh, you know, a new LED shop light can cost anywhere from $20 on the really low end up to quite, quite high actually. I'm not even sure how high they go up. But these lights, I got these bulbs in a 10 pack and I think the cost per bulb was under $8 per bulb. So each fixture, they were free, they were in the barn, but each fixture with the bulbs cost um, basically under 16 bucks a piece, plus two cans of spray paint, that does add money. I didn't need to do that, but I like how they came out. They look really sharp. I gotta show you during the day, with the black on the outside, they look clean. So we'll say 16, to $18 per fixture for new LED light fixtures. That's awesome. So it's a good solution. If somebody's throwing out their old shop lights, they're getting rid of those old fluorescent lights and they're replacing them, grab them up. I've seen people just throw them out and they're still useful and you can convert them over cheaper than buying new sometimes. I have two more lights I wanna install over here on this uh, truss right here. I don't have any more of those, so I'm gonna be installing a different type. So I'm gonna be installing these new LED light fixtures. You can see they're a lot smaller, supposed to be just as bright. We'll see. These plug in to a, an outlet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wire up some outlets up in the last two boxes here. We'll plug them in and should have a fully lit barn. Okay, so that's done. so bright and I can't even see. Well, we got it done and it looks awesome in here. You guys can see that there's so much light and it's dark out, nighttime, so. It's cool. This is, we were just talking about this. This is the most light that this barn has ever had in its life since it was built probably in the 70s. As you saw, we pulled out those five fluorescent tubes and you know those were never super bright, but they only had the five lights. Now we got the five plus two, and we got the LEDs going. I think they're all in 4,000K whiteness, so it's pretty clean white light in here. Mm -hmm. And it was actually pretty easy to do. I'm so happy we could save those old fixtures, and they looked so good in the end. So that always makes me happy when we can restore stuff. As you guys have seen, that's kind of like what our whole channel is about, is taking something that's old and junky and bringing it back to life. That's not what our channel intention was. It, it's just to share our life with you guys. We like to have somebody to share with, but that's what we do yeah. is restore things. And like this whole property. There's just something more satisfying about restoring something that, that others see as trash. Mm -hmm. You see know. the vision of what it could be. Yeah. So anyway, we don't need to get too deep about fluorescent lights. <laughs> uh, 
the LED lights, they look awesome and it's going to be so nice in here now, especially going like the sun is getting, the sun is setting sooner each day as we head into fall. Today's the first day of fall. Yep. So it's going to be nice to have light out here. We can get some projects done here and there. The whole thing is cool. The, the lighting is cool and then the polycarbonate is cool so the sunlight can come in. Yeah, during the day. And with these lights is more or less the end of the electrical work in the barn. We got our outlets done the other day. You guys saw that. The electrical panel looks clean. You guys remember what it looked like before. I'm sure it was a mess in here. Everything is so safe. Just getting all those wires dangling off the ceiling. No more spider web wires. That in itself cleans up the barn so much. You come in and you feel the difference. When stuff is um, dangly and messy, yeah, it really makes it feel more cluttered. When everything's clean, straight lines, it's nice. All right, so I guess we're going to wrap it up now. We really appreciate you guys following along today. Um, before we go, I think I want to show you the outside lights that we also finished up. I finished up this switch so I could turn this on and have our big outdoor light on. I'll show you that. But we also have this one. You can hear this one buzzing. We need to get a new bulb in that, but that's just one of those, you know, big outdoor lights. But we got this light right here and it does a good job. You can close that door if you want. Look at that bright barn, that's crazy. So it lights it up, and look how cool this looks at night with the light. Doesn't cast a lot of light outside, but it's still neat to look at. All right guys, we're going in now, so have a good night, and until next time, take care. Bye. Can you even see me? No.